There are uh, three days left uh, from the season of uh, Mahakam and I am trying to have a bit of uh, fun with this uh, Skellige deck, which is not the most uh, competitive one, but uh, has turned out to give uh, quite interesting uh, matches in the sense that I had uh, quite some fun playing it. I'm still uh, rather new to Skellige and um, I am, um, let's see, I don't need this in round one, this is good, but I don't really have uh, what to use it with. Okay, these two work well, maybe I can also discard this. Okay, so I have the full discard package on the board, but uh, sadly, I do not have, uh, I do not have, uh, the discard target so let's see with uh, Maxi what no comes up can. next so this is looking quite quite promising although I don't get the discard unit so this is a bit uh, how to say uh, not optimal but the rest of the draw is quite nice I wouldn't mess it up although <laughs> tough one to pick because I also want to get this sick drift and get three cards here three cards here with the, i think this might just work like it is i will confirm choice and end the turn took a lot of time for this uh, first card in first round so hopefully it didn't uh, annoy too much the opponent okay do i want to remove that i don't have with uh, i don't have a possibility or actually i do have possibility to remove this if I play Coral. Like suppose. And the end. Yes. Now let's bring more quark. And now if I bring this also I will have to discard something from my hand because I don't the discard targets will not uh, come up but still I want to do this and as a discard I think I'll drop him. It's between him and him or him. Let's drop this cultist. Okay, looking quite nice. 21 point lead after two cards. Let's see. Hmm, this would have been a much better target for me. Do I want to protect Melusin with uh, the defender? I think I do. Let's play just that. Although, would have an opportunity to kill off his uh, Dunka if I draw two cards with Burna Bran and I do one extra point of damage with some rain. Cut my paws off, I fight to death. Let's see. I'm shooting from the hip. Not uh, thinking too much at the strategy level. Just want to see how it goes because I don't have a optimal draw. I mean, maybe I should be satisfied enough uh, with the way it is. But for some reason I'm not that. I think he will pass. Although he has this uh, opportunity here, so let's play this while we can. Because if he passes, he will also lose points from Dunka. And of course, I will not get the chance to get carryover from the Melusin. But it's a fair trade-off. So, pick whatever you want. Yes. Okay, so he negated the Dunka advantage and also negates my Melusin. I will pass. Now I am one card behind. I got four points carry over for the Melusine. I hope that Sigurd Trifa is uh, coming up ahead. I didn't count exactly the number of cards. It seemed like uh, it was in reach, especially with uh, Burna Brand getting two extra cards. So let's discard what's uh, least helpful now. Freya's Blessing not helpful at the moment. And I should decide if I want to 
to play this round or or skip it so what what should i do in this situation so i would definitely be good if i play at least uh, some cards at least two cards so let's start off with these bronzes this way i also make space from for an extra for a long round three Symbiosis, how much right? Don't have anything to kill her with. So she, uh, the opponent will get uh, this symbiosis advantage. Let's see if he has means of killing this um, Svalvod priest. I'm just uh, uh, scoring uh, equal points at the moment, although I'm at the limit of seven cards. So I think it would be a good thing to retire out of this uh, round right now if I don't plan on uh, staying ahead and basically hmm. should I go with the mushy truffle now or should I leave this for a long uh, round the three? Seems like he doesn't have uh, ways of. Um, emptying uh, graveyard so this is at least a positive point okay i think i'll pass just so that i don't uh, lose my um, last uh, word advantage although i'm not sure it's uh, that uh, good of a strategy to play a very long round against uh, squatel uh, round three let's see how it will go I have had moderate success with this deck. It hasn't been quite the greatest for me. But it's uh, fun enough to play with and uh, that has been enough to keep it uh, going. Yes, I think I will start it slow with this mushy truffle. Oh, how wonderful. You speak our tongue. Or should I bring could you see Griffa twice and Melusin once? But I need to use Melusin on a bronze to get a lot of rain. And what would that bronze be? It'd be this Valbot priest. So then I can get the defender, I can get Melusin and Ryogan. Then no more rain from that part. Do I want the Melusin? Or do I want rain and ditch Melusin? Or I can ditch the defender and bring Melusin, Ryogan and a bronze. He has a uh, Simlas or something like that that he will get a lot of uh, points out of as I haven't seen him play so I'm wondering what sort of deck this might be maybe he will use uh, Simlas with Lacerate and not uh, Bountiful Harvest who knows so let's uh, think a bit what do I want to play next should I go for Melusin or the defender. I think Melusin is more of a threat and can also get any control cards out of him with uh, Melusin. But maybe I wouldn't want to haste, hasten things. Your age at 
Mm -hmm. Bound for harvest it is then. Oh, those nasty sorceresses. We got two of them, so now I'm uh, a bit... Uh, a bit uh, worried about what I can... What I could do next. I will play the little half while I can. Because I don't have any way to... Do I have anything here that I could bring? Set up the rain already. Destroy more quickly. Hmm. Let's see what you got. Maybe I won't be eradicated that soon in this match. Although the prospect of uh, playing two order abilities with Dolblatana Sorceress is quite uh, grim for my side. Oh, even uh, Elven Seer, this is even uh, more awful for me. But who knows how many points will I be able to recuperate from uh, playing Ryogan. If I spread a lot of rain effects, I might have a chance to bring in a lot, a lot of uh, rain and storm. I will keep this uh, mushy truffle um, order for boosting Fulmar so that uh, maybe he doesn't have a card which can uh, fully uh, destroy it so shall i bring in bring in some uh, rain already and if so with what card would i like to do that let's try it out with Fukusia into Svalbard priest sacrifices must be made on both sides Fill our hearts with maybe i should have used the order ability of the fukusia at this point I'm lagging a bit, but um, now I want to deploy already this uh, Fulmar guy, but will I also be able to boost him with the cost of losing some... Uh, let's be patient one more round, because uh, I have a feeling I can recover a lot of points. He almost uh, gets his board full, so it will be quite interesting to see where he will be able to play his cards uh, next. So now I will deploy this um, Fulmar. And if I manage to get uh, his uh, order ability as well, that will be a lot of points for me. And let, let's uh, use the little half as well. Or no. Actually, I will uh, leave it for next round because I think it should work just the same. So there will be quite some rain or even some storm, depending on what uh, removal cards he still has in hand or can get from the Dolblatana Sorceress. This is quite uh, interesting to see. Okay, he boosts himself, yes, but what does he do, okay, he cannot remove Fulmar, that's very, very, very optimistic for me, but I will be able to play his order ability, and now I will not lose any more time and just uh, trigger this uh, 
rain effects. Of course, he has 60 points on the, this row, so I will put all the effects here. I could stay some more rounds, but really don't want to risk it like this. So, let's see. Is this enough to get an advantage? I would think so. <laughs> this is quite a satisfying turn of events. But if he has cards to to reset my um, messenger of the sea, I'm afraid I might be doomed. And let's not speak so. Um, soon so i don't think the rain is much of a trade-off because he will only get two more points accept this offering that we might make the coast safer. the only good human is not enough dead. my sir i think i have one this yes i have one more w match to win to get this uh, quest four out of five I am going to test uh, one more uh, match with uh, this uh, Skellige deck, see how well it uh, performs and if I manage to apply uh, similar uh, storm effects as I did last time. You. This looks like a potential uh, mirror match. I'd don't think I know the archetype of this uh, play. Will be interesting. These two cards are not good in round one, but uh, I'm not sure I will draw into them if I uh, mulligan them uh, now. So it's a bit late for doing that. I will need to somehow make the most out of uh, this uh, starting uh, hand. For the Although, I have to admit, it does not look uh, too well for me. So, I'm already considering uh, a fast exit out of it. Let's see how uh, things will be looking in the uh, next round, so I will at least get uh, Coral and uh, Bride of the Sea, but other than that it's not looking that nice, so I think I will uh, choose a card so that uh, all cards will be shuffled. So let's pick this for getting to the bottom of the deck. I don't like this uh, draw and uh, I'm a bit uh, nervous because I don't know what uh, type of strategy my opponent has. I don't remember encountering uh, Blaze of Glory leader ability and uh, haven't played uh, such uh, decks uh, in recent uh, times. So let's go uh, with the damage limitation strategy this round because I don't like uh, my current hand, so I will try to sacrifice uh, some bronzes, just play along. I want to get rid of uh, three cards, because otherwise I will not uh, have the possibility to get three new cards out of my deck. I, just, uh, I will just manage to shuffle around more cards, but that's it. Also, it could be an um, interesting idea to, to bring in uh, Meluzin. But if he has a uh, heatwave or something, then 
it will have uh, proven to be uh, dif uh, uninspired so shall i take the risk or shall i stick to the plan play a bronze and then exit i think i'll take the opportunity to play the melusine and then at least this other little half row and then the svalbard priest let's let's see how it goes how how wrong can it go maybe it will be a short match who knows i'm trailing quite much at this stage so not too proud of how i started this and uh, the draw i also don't know why uh, i'm feeling so uh, nervous about this matchup the interesting thing about this uh, Skellig uh, faction is that uh, I didn't seem to have uh, encountered uh, or being uh, matched up or paired against uh, Northern Realms with it. So I'm wondering if it's a sort of an algorithm thing with uh, the Gwent servers not matching me up with Northern Realms because they were quite popular and when I played other factions I got them quite, um, quite um, often. Now it's also the end of the season, so maybe players are experimenting more. Don't they don't play their most uh, competitive decks because Northern Realms seems quite strong. Okay, so I can get uh, two turns of rain for two points. I think I will take that, although I'm trailing a bit. But uh, it is promising. Because I still want to hold a bit in this round. My deficit is quite large. Don't know if uh, playing the pair of uh, little half row is enough. So, okay. He destroyed my um, Melusine. How much did I get? 11. That's pretty weak, have to be honest. And right now, the, other, the only thing is to pass because I don't like the situation at all in this round. Maybe I played a bit uh, foolish. But uh, let's see how, uh, how things might turn into next rounds, into round two. So, what is the opponent uh, thinking about? I like the Yennefer skin. I wasn't playing uh, Gwent at that time when it was available. Yes, so I will keep the Mash Truffle because it is compatible with uh, the other little half fruit that I have. I will discard this and i don't like at all what i am getting into this i keep uh, hoping that i will get a card which can discard and get this card uh, out of my um, hand with a profit but uh, it doesn't look like it so at last i got coral will he dry pass or will he just uh, try to bleed something out of me let's see I think I will uh, start using Coral because uh, there is no other way at this time that uh, I improve uh, the situation and the draw for me in next round other than uh, thinning a bit. So I don't really see a good play. Also the Mashi Truffle could be another option which gives me the lead and stays on the deck so let's let's start with this i don't see a problem with uh, something like this what will he do now does he want uh, to bleed me or will he keep uh, his hand for round three okay so right now what do i do i of course do not want to discard anything um shall i just burn up some cards so that i get more no it's not uh, worth 
Well, I still have uh, some prospects for playing my main uh, win condition in uh, round 3, that is uh, getting some uh, storm, or at least applying a large number of uh, rain effects uh, with the help of Ryogan in one turn. So let's see how uh, good it can uh, go. So I want to get rid of uh, bronzes, but these cards are so, so, so awful. I don't like the draw at all which came up in this match. Maybe I complain a lot. I complain too much. So let's get him out as well because, because I feel that with three cards I might get one back. Yes, I like uh, what I obtained in this uh, last uh, draw, the Bride of the Sea. So this is quite uh, nice. But now I have to be a bit careful to make some space for um, Berna Bran to draw two cards. So I cannot start with Coral because I use I waste two points. So let's just start with a little half. It's uh, rather uh, safe play. And if he has some damage, maybe not six points, but uh, less, then it's uh, good for me because if uh, she gets uh, less than four points, I mean the half through, then I can uh, successfully uh, play her order and get a profit out of that. Just one more, sir. Yes. Okay. So I will. I will start with. Uh, I will start with Cora see what she can get me out of uh, the deck let's see that might even be amusing mm -hmm. this is good quite good not so bad after all I still have the defender in here which is quite of uh, value. Other than that, uh, not much that I would want. It would be very nice if I managed to get um, another discard target out of the two things which remain to be drawn. So then I can profit the most with uh, playing uh, Berna Bran. And I also would uh, hurry up and play her uh, now, rather soon, um, rather than late, because who knows if uh, Coral will, sur will survive until the end of the match. So then. Now if I play her, I will get uh, 4 damage more. And I also think it would be very good if I play this half through this round. But first, let's, let's draw, see what, uh, what we can get. So yes, it actually turns out quite nice for me. Now I will also get the rain. I'm wondering if I should wait more, but... I'm fearful that if I wait, I will lose uh, everything. So let's just uh, add some rain right now and call it uh, a turn. I should bring up the Melusine. What have I been waiting for? I don't know. So next up is... Uh, Sigur uh, Driva. Sigur Driva is right. Interesting uh, card. I will use um, Fukusia with uh, Hafru and uh, Sigur Driva right to bring out uh, Melusin and then. I will use the Bride of the Sea to bring out uh, Ryogan. Yes, that is the plan. So let's let's uh, bring uh, Melusine. It's good if we get her um, early onto the board. I would need a card here on her uh, right hand side to get the most out of it. So let's see what he has now. Does he have any any control cards to destroy her? I still have some aces in my sleeve and also my uh, uh, productive combo with um, oh, the storm. God. I hope I will be able to transform rain into storm, that is. But maybe he's also aware of that. 
Okay, so no one else dares face me. Meluzin is gone with this combo. I remember iced uh, this card. Let's not uh, despair. I think I'll bring in. Should I play this armored Drakkar first? Yes, let's do that because I see no no reason not to do that. So then... Bride of the Sea will be amongst the uh, last cards. You shall never Don't you fester me. I don't know if I will keep her yeah, last, then Fulmar next to last. Fukusia third to last. So then let's start off with um, Freya's blessing into Little Hafru. We could also revive Meluzin with uh, Bride of the Sea, but then then I'm left with uh, fewer um, turns of uh, rain. So I'll just uh, bring out uh, half fruit. Should I bring her in the rain? If she gets fewer than four points, I can use her so for the rain to trigger her or, uh, order ability. So it's not such a bad decision, in my opinion least to my little uh, Skellig experience that I have haven't played this faction a lot I'll leave you into. okay I think now would be the time to get the messenger of the sea out on the board maybe some uh, bait for him and then what was the order? Fukusia, Fulmar, and Bride of the Sea into Sigurdriva into Ryogan. Yes, that's the plan. So let's see how it goes. Keep it calm. I have a large deficit at the moment, but uh, if I get the combo in with the storm, that is not just rain, then I have a good chance of uh, getting uh, ahead. Right yes, I lost hands. this messenger of the sea. So now it's more uh, difficult, I have to be honest. Let's start with Fukusia. I will want some rain on this uh, range row of his because he has 44 points on it. Your gifts, my beloved. Sacrifices for men who seek one and all. Six turns of rain, that's fine. Do I still have a chance? I wonder if he has something that could uh, make uh, me six points of damage not so fearful of his um, okay i need to play him and i will uh, put all of my uh, strength on this range row yes and uh, Still, I'll keep uh, 
he has 40 points on that row and 34 on this row. But I think I'm able to get most of his 40 points from the range rows. But now he has equal number of points, but I have to to turn the snow on this range row because uh, the snow, the storm on the range row because it will make more damage. So I have an opportunity to bring in um, how much is it? Eight, and I would be able to bring even more, but I don't think it's worth it. Other than uh, Utah, I don't have any target which could uh, benefit from more than um, eight uh, turns of damage. So I think I will be satisfied only with this. Let's see how much. Does this help me? Okay, so I'm only a bit ahead, but is this enough? What does he have in hand? What does he keep for his last card? Wow, it was just enough. Only one point. <laughs> what a... what a win. Uh, quite unexpected for me after starting... Uh, such a poor fashion and also not knowing very well uh, what I was facing against so maybe I was just a bit uh, lucky in this uh, match as you can see here I managed to get um, the faction to 2425 and um, I've seen uh, various opinions on um, reddit that uh, um, you don't face uh, that many mm, meme decks or non-competitive decks when you are uh, above uh, 2400 and uh, I didn't agree with that opinion and as you could have seen now I faced this uh, opponent right now which uh, well I'm not that uh, knowledgeable uh, about uh, this sort of deck that he played that uh, how competitive this is but I don't remember seeing this strategy in uh, for example the last uh, Gwent Masters maybe I, I'm, I'm not I have to be frank I, I'm not so uh, well acquainted with all the latest in uh, strategies that, and especially for the Skellige faction but uh, nonetheless I wanted to say that uh, it seems like um, you still meet uh, a lot of uh, off-meta decks, or what they call off-meta, uh, also above uh, 2400. So this is my impression. Oh, this looks like uh, could be a mirror match. I hope the deck is not uh, that uh, competitive uh, type of deck with a lot of control cards, because then I'm clearly at a loss. I don't have uh, that much things that I could use to counter uh, stuff like this. What should I open with? I don't want to use Coral or something from the discard package at the moment because of course it will... Uh, not uh, get me a lot of uh, you know, points. Really okay, okay, Chief. Stay uh, calm. I am uh, trying not to make you wait uh, that much. Bring it on. <laughs> okay, so... What I have feared might... Uh, be actually true that uh, he does have uh, all those uh, control cards mm, I'm wondering whether I should uh, what should I start with okay let's try it like this because I like when I get my little half fruit damage then I can uh, play their order abilities at a profit I was thinking of uh, playing uh, Coral, but I didn't have uh, any target to make a damage, but now I do, so it's uh, much better now to play her. I will start 
playing Coral, drawing a card and also using my leader ability in this turn. Because I have what to put. He has uh, Sunset Wanderers. Did I see something moving? Yes, yeah, I did. Have to be a bit uh, careful with that card. Most of the time I've seen players uh, protecting that card and not letting it uh, drop out uh, too early. So uh, I can keep that in mind. It's a pity that uh, I don't have a defender to protect um, Meluzin if I deploy her now. Still, I have to play this Burna Brand combination because it will bring me a lot of points even though I don't have uh, discard uh, cards. So I will just need to throw what I consider to be less uh, damaging. So these two special cards in my case felt like they are not so uh, awful. I'm doing thinning, I do some damage, I'm staying ahead and I get this pass, which is not the best. So I think now I need to I need to bleed him a bit in round two. Otherwise he will get a very huge, a uh, large uh, Sunset Wanderers. Hmm. I have Fulmar. And I have the Ziggur Drifa to bring in uh, Ryogan. Should I just try to go for 2-0? Well, I have the Defender on board now and I could play together with the Meluzine. I think this might just be perfect uh, hand. Other than... Shall I drop the Svalblood? Priest. Okay, so this is clearly not of uh, use right now. Let's, let's, let's uh, start uh, in force. The defender followed by the Melizin. We'll uh, give him this signal that I'm quite uh, serious or at least uh, courageous. Who knows? Uh, what uh, answers he'll have. Okay, so he used his Banish uh, control card against my defender. There is no way that I can get it uh, back now, but I will start, uh, start it a bit slow to see what else he has uh, in store. I can use the um, Freya's Blessing together with uh, these, uh, this little Hafru to get the uh, second one, which uh, will get 8 points, so that's quite nice. I want Fukusia and Bride of the Sea. Well, 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 he is using all of his <laughs> control cards. Is this something uh, good for him, that he uses them on bronze cards, on my bronze cards? I don't really know. So right now I could technically pass, have uh, seven cards and I make him play something so that he also has uh, seven cards of his own left for round three. Do I want to do that or do I want to to keep things for... Um, to keep playing? Let's pass. Maybe it's not the smartest thing because now his Sunset Wanderers will get even more points. Yes, I don't think it was the wisest choice, but still I have uh, one slight advantage which is uh, last word, last say. Yes, I would like Fukusia, if possible. There she is. 
Right now, I think I should say thanks and finish drawing because the other cards are should work quite nice together. I think he doesn't have much control cards left, although who knows how aggressive he went with this. Okay, so he's uh, playing it safe. What do I want to get out of my uh, graveyard? So I have Fukusa to bring in a little half through. I have a uh, Coral. I have Ryogan. Hmm. Well, let's drop another little half room. I need to keep uh, the storm play for uh, end of the game. Last word. <laughs> He's using all, all his control cards on my bronzes. I never seen this uh, type of strategy. Let's see if uh, he will win with this. I don't know why it's uh, it seems amusing to me. So now will he will he use his leader abilities against this armor drakar? I dare him to do so. <laughs> he will lose me four points and who knows what more. <laughs> I can do a great deal more for you. He's thinking to use uh, his leader abilities. Okay, he didn't decide to do that just now. Hear my prayer! Fill me with strength! I am playing it very, very slow, as he seems quite uh, dangerous. But now I will bring in the Melusine, regardless of what he might uh, have kept in hand. Let's not uh, be so uh, fearful. Come on, show me what you have. Okay. So he packed, he packed control cards up to most uh, high level that he could. So I will bring her back, uh, I will bring Meluzin back with uh, Zigardrif uh, right now and I will uh, bring Ryogan again with, uh, with uh, Bride of the Sea. I will make sure to do that, yes, so let's bring her back. Well, you would say that things are not looking that uh, good for me, but uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, really so. This mess is the Fulmar. His eyes only. We <clears throat> stand before the Queen of Skellige. I don't even care what he discards not like some overseas plunder spring
find peace. Best crown yourself with those damn nets. It's a bit of a pity that I lose my Melusine, but at this point I don't think there is something much better that I can do with her. Which is the most... the, the best row to attack with a lot of rain? Is it this one or this one? I think it might be this one. Because he has more cards on it. Honor to be sacrificed to the goddess. Let's see if he has an answer for Fulmar. Otherwise, I'll still collect quite some points from um, deploying uh, just rain. Okay, now it's uh, party time. This is how it should go. Can you play like this? So, what do you have? Do you have a reset power? Cut off uh, 41 points of, off of my uh, Messenger of the Sea. Otherwise, I'm still ahead, still ahead. So, this is quite the victory for me. We made it in one piece to the end after drowning our opponent in some uh, heavy storm. This is the fun of uh, playing this deck. And uh, to my surprise, it worked quite well, even against uh, a deck uh, packed heavily with uh, control cards. I still think uh, the biggest weakness of this deck is not that, the resistance to control cards, but um, countering engines. So if you have some strong engines, I don't have any answer to give you with this deck.